Okay, this recording is just to go over how to actually uh, create a script that recreates your database exactly the way you have it with all the objects and data and everything else. This is useful for when you actually have to hand in your version of a database. So this will work well for the database project, among other things. Uh, essentially, what we do is with the Object Explorer open, working in SQL Server Management Studio, I have a database here I'll use as an example. This movies underscore SP. I see it's got lots of tables, it has some views in it, and a bunch of stored procedures, even a function and so on. And there's data in the table, some sample data. So I want to basically bundle up the whole thing so I could submit it for evaluation. So if I right click on the database in the Object Explorer, in the pop-up menu, there's tasks. And among all the tasks is generate scripts. So this is the one that starts the wizard that helps us to generate a script to recreate the database uh, with all its options, all its objects, all of its uh, data and everything else. Now we have to be a little careful as we go through the wizard. So let me select this first of all. We'll bring up the dialog box here, generate scripts, la di da di da Yes, okay, go on to the next step. Script entire database and all database objects. Well, that's the option that we want here. Uh, of course, we did right click on the database to begin with. So all I have to do is go next. Now, in order to get the data, okay, uh, what I'm going to do is click the advanced button here. We're gonna use the save to a file option. Uh, we'll get more to that in a moment, but in the advanced scripting options, there's a lot of things in here you could play with, but all we really have to change at this point is type of data to script. Okay, so this is a drop down list here. What we want is schema and data. Otherwise, we don't get uh, the whole kitten caboodle, so to speak. So that's the one change to make. So that, again, it's about halfway down in actually almost the bottom of the general section, I guess it is. Halfway down the uh, uh, overall set of options here. I'll click OK with schema and data selected for types of data to script. And what I usually do is I save to a new query window. So when it's done generating the script, it'll just open it in a script window for me, which is where I can play with it, make some final changes before I save the script. So that works well for the way I want to use this. So I just go next, and there's really nothing else to do but click next again. As long as I selected all my options properly, it will just go through, <coughs> prepare, and generate all the uh, scripts that I need, and I just click finish. There you go. So now I have a complete script, similar to the ones that we've posted. It generates all the table, create table statements. It does the inserts to get the sample data that we have in place into all the tables and so on. There are the creates here for all the stored procedures, etc., etc., that are part of uh, the database itself. Now the only thing is, I could just save this as it is, and it does work, but notice it uses very specific, right? The file name location here, it's exactly matching, you know, how it's configured on my system, which may work if your installation is identical to mine. Uh, however, what I would encourage you to do, along with this video I'm gonna post, I'll also put it up in the uh, Lab Docs and Resources folder, this script here, oh, not that one, this one called generic create database header right so basically this is the top portion that I more or less usually copy and paste and reuse myself I've worked this out with after a bit of trial and error and it seems to do the job so I've posted this as a separate script so what you could use is just copy this and replace the top portion the create database itself portion of your own script that you use the wizard to generate Notice that it, the last thing here after all the different create database and the minimal alter database command we want is to set recovery simple, but then there's use, right? Now, of course, the name is completely generic, the database, and notice I also have the user score, username underscore in front of it as well, right? So <clears throat> if I just select all of this and copy, what I wanna do when I come back to the script created here, if you scroll down, you see there's a whole bunch of alters here just setting the various uh, default parameters for all of the database options and so on. But after all of that alter database stuff, here's my use. So here's where I actually start using the database to create the tables and everything else. So what I'll do is I'll select this go and everything up to the top. So I'll leave the actual use command in place for now, delete all that, and 
paste in that generic script. Right? The reason I left this use is it gives me the name for the database. Now, I may or may not want, I might can give it a totally different name at this point. Whatever name I use will be fine. Um, <clears throat> so what I have to do then before I save it is I should probably, you know, replace username with my actual username and the database with whatever database name I want to use. So if I wanted to call this something different altogether, uh, I could modify it. But what I might end up doing is basically I'm going to copy that, control C to copy, use my edit, find and replace, quick replace dialog box. Okay, I'm going to replace <coughs> uh, the database with the name that I just copied there. So control V will paste it in. Right? That will just get all of the spots where I use the database. And then I can replace username underscore with my username. Oh. You'd think I'd know my own name by now, right? Okay. So do a replace all on that. And then now <coughs> I kind of have repetition here. Uh, so this one is all set up, Dave Stavell, SP Movies. So I could get rid of this now. I just left it in place temporarily so that I would know what name the database was and I could easily copy and paste it from there. All right, so this is done now. So I have a nice script. I use my generic header. Uh, so it has all the options for altering the database, setting it offline, you know, dropping it. That's if it's been created once already. So I can make a factory fresh new copy, create the database, make my one important alter command, and then start using it. Everything else is done. Right? It creates all the tables and all the objects in the database. So those are the changes I would make. Then I could just do a save. It will prompt me for a name, give it whatever proper name I want to do, and then I can save it. Right? Then you can submit your .sql file, and then when I execute it, it will create it with your username, which is a good thing when you're handing it in to me. And you know, if you want, you can also add to the comments up here that this is my database you know, for lab whatever and so on. So feel free to change the comments. In fact, that would be a good idea. So I hope that helps. It shows you how to then generate a script that will recreate your entire database from start to finish. And this little script, as I said, I will put it up. I'll actually post it right with the link for this video. And I'll also put it in the lab docs and resources folder so you can grab this and just reuse it. Okay, hope that helps.